to a family, do you? So, you don't belong to a species. Meet the Littlewoods. <laughs> You're just jealous, cos you have to get a stranger to take you out. Jealous of your dad and his personality bypass? I'm going out for the day with a writer. You should see how they live. With a writer, life's always exciting and glamorous. Cup finals and parties. And rock concerts. And I'll be there, at the centre of it all. At least my dad comes to see me, which is more than can be said for some people's invisible mum. Tracy's mum might come any day. And that would be hilarious. Today of all days, Tracy's out with a writer woman and her mum turns up. Tracy, ready to go? Oh, hi, Cam. This is going to be the best match ever. Only six hours to kick off. Do we have everything? Crisps? Check. More crisps? Check. And more crisps, in Check. case we get peckish in between snacks. Check. Well, hey, what else could we possibly need? How about a television that works? Wasn't someone supposed to get that fixed? Mike! Tracy? Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm staying in because my mum's probably coming today. That's great. She'll be here any minute with armfuls of presents from America. Oh, right, I see. Well, that'd be fantastic. Mind you, if we just popped out, I suppose we could... Phone in to check if she's arrived? OK, well, another time, perhaps. Hey, not so fast! <laughs> Look at her, she's so immature. Here we are. Is your proper car in for service? This is my proper car. It's a hair dryer. It's not the car that's important, it's the driver. Absolutely. My mum is a brilliant driver. She's fearless and fabulous. And we're completely unbeatable on any racetrack in the world. comes back, we'll soon be racing again. Of course you will. So where are we going? How about a picnic in the park? Call the news crews, warn the paparazzi. Tracy Bigger is going to the park. Well, I like the park. Of course you do, you're old. I bet you enjoy the cemetery as well. Are you this cheeky to everyone? Yeah, don't go thinking you're anyone special. <laughs> Tracy, you are one off. That's me. That must be why no one wants to foster me. I think I'd prefer a cheeky girl. It'd be more fun. Cam? Mm -hmm. How much does actually the writers earn? Pardon? How about lunch at your place? Oh, no, I don't think so. Well, OK. Do you think you like this one better? Yes, that one's fine too. And what about this one? Dads don't care. He just wants to see you. Doesn't matter which one you wear.
Why is it my fault? Who bought a microwave instead of a new telly? Me. And they promised on Wednesday they'd get this repaired. Me? And your point is? My point is you never get round to anything. Sort it out now. It's Saturday. Do you have any idea how much an engineer would charge for a weekend call out? OK. Come on, everybody. It's nowhere near enough. You can make the difference up. <sighs> yeah, sure. If my lottery ticket comes up. Sorry, guys. Where's the rest of it? Now, there's a bedroom upstairs. There isn't even a PC. A home without a computer. It's unnatural. There. Happy now? Oh. So what games do you have? Games? Well, what do you think these things are for? Well, let's write a story. Can't. I'm between ideas at the moment. Oh, writer's block. You're a real writer, then. Don't worry, I have a cure. Fortunately, unfortunately, it's a game. Unfortunately, Tracy had no ideas. Fortunately, this game could give us some. Unfortunately, Cam had gone completely barking mad. Fortunately, Tracy was there to administer the sanity drug, but... Unfortunately, they left the medical kit on the helicopter. And the nearest hospital was miles away through the jungle. And it was no ordinary jungle. It was inhabited by this ugly tribe of two-headed girls called the Justinians, who worshipped this little, dull, boring god called Dad. Unfortunately, the Justinians like to make everybody's life a total misery. But, fortunately, they were never going to beat us. What's this? Lunch. I'm having lunch with my dad, remember? Sure, but I thought you might be getting hungry by now. He's probably stuck in traffic or something. He'll be here any minute. Listen, guys, I'll tell you what. How about we listen to the game on the radio? It's just as good. No way. It's life and death. It's only a game. Only a game? He's right. It's only a game. Hmm? All right, fine. Operation Magnetic Storm. Action, guys. incredibly talented and beautiful Trace Speaker saved the world again. <coughs> Unfortunately, beautiful though she was, she didn't realise how big her gob was. Fortunately, Dr. Khan saved her, let her stay over in a tiny hospital, then move in, and then eventually fostered her, and they lived happily ever after. Oh, hang on, Tracy, slow down. I'm in no position to foster anybody. Unfortunately, the world decided that Tracy Beaker wasn't allowed a nice, loving home. Again. Why hasn't he rung me? There'll be a good reason. You'll see. Do you want to give him a call? I'll give him a while longer. Unfortunately, some people are so rude, they don't look off, I guess, properly. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the next couple of weeks, yeah. No, that'd be great. Fortunately, some guests can look after okay. themselves. Okay. Well, cheers, then. Bye. Tracy, did you want to phone in? Unfortunately, no, in my lap, my mum's probably been and gone by now. Why is it that everyone in the world has a better time than me? <sighs> Engaged. Come on, 
guys. What are you doing hanging around up here? It's pointless. How do... I, I tried to fix the TV, but we hit a snag. Like what? It was an aerial thing. If one of us was big enough to put that out of the window, we could get a decent signal with that. What? You mean... Hi, Tracy. Duke, um, has my mum been? No, uh, I'm sorry. There's uh, no sign of her. OK. <laughs> I want to go. <laughs> now. Tracy, this is great. <laughs> Super Tracy saves the world from the evil social workers from Planet X. How, exactly? Easy. I realise that the dumping ground is the centre of all world evil. So I do the only thing possible. Which is? It's obvious. Create an army of Tracy Beaker clones and totally storm the place. Bye-bye, dumping ground. Yay! Yeah! still! Hey, we have to get going in five minutes. Ten. Is that a deal? Definitely. Ten minutes. I'll come quietly. No! No! Hey, how about writing some unfortunately adventures? With this? Plugged into the telly. No, really. That's what Operation Magnetic Storm was all about. A simple, dodgy fuse. So Mike stood there all afternoon for no reason. Yep. I don't think he'd be putting off repairs in the future. Do you? Huh? Who needs them? 